Oh, not that you fool. Hello, hello, everybody. And we are going to continue our Assassin's Creed 3 journey with the Tyranny of King Washington DLC. This is... I kept forgetting about it for the most part, but... Uh, we should go ahead and knock it out of the way and see what kind of thing it's like. The other DLC-ish things that I remember, like, granted, the only DLC-related thing from this era of Assassin's Creed that I recall were, like, the memory sequences 12 and 13 from Assassin's Creed 2, because those were post-release. But this, I think, is when they started to, like, actually add in essentially mini-scenarios. Kind of like how Assassin's Creed 4 is, uh, has uh, Freedom Cry. And how... I forget. Is libera was Liberation always its own thing? I think it was. But we'll have to experience Liberation as well at some point. But yes... We're going to go ahead and start the Tyranny of King Washington DLC. I, I do find it kind of amusing that it's still called DLC, even though it wasn't downloadable content for the remaster. It's just content. I don't know. That amuses me. I had a thought, but then it ran away. Ah, uh, yes. I looked up how long to beat the King Washington Tyranny DLC. And apparently going full completionist... It takes nine hours to beat this DLC. So we should be able to knock it out of the way in just two streams, because I doubt that I'll go full completionist, considering that I didn't bother to full completion the, the normal game. But either way, either way, let us go and experience. That's odd. Is that... I have to... I want to look now. Why is my save up there? But then it's like here, and why is it called player? Because I never activated it. It says 18, 12, 20, 23, so last... Not even last night. Just today. Weird, we'll start a new game. <laughs> I don't trust you. I do not trust you, game. The, the, that phantom save, no. Be gone. Oh, it's in three episodes. Neat. The infamy, the betrayal, the redemption. Well, let us see. The infamy. Power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Even though I heard it that it's more like power reveals. Hello, Juno. Or not Juno. Oh, is this because Desmond died? Oh, uh, for a moment I was like, is it because Desmond died and his mind is just frying? But no, let's see. It was King Washington. Well, not. Oh! This is like if King Washington. Or if King Washington. If George Washington found a piece of Eden, I guess. Interesting. Are those things uh, flashes that we're going to play through, or are we just going to begin with him being a bastard? Like, why is there an Apple of Eden in America? We shall see, we shall see. Mother, you are dead. Or is this a flashback? We must go. This is uh, definitely a... Mother, what are you doing here? Y yeah, you're supposed you to be dead. Me? We came here together. Now we must go. I thought... I thought I lost you. Man, these shadows are shit. But you're here. I am here. I have always been here. <laughs> so this is kind of like Timeline Isekai. Better than all right. Good. Now come. I have heard screaming in Ganyan Geha close by. We must learn what is going on. Interesting. So they're they're acknowledging it that this is our Connor experiencing some kind of alternate timeline 
Hmm. So he didn't leave to seek out Achilles in this timeline? My father. What is your fault? What have you done? What have you done? Yeah, we don't have Hidden Blade. We still have the Animus Hacks, though. Defend the woman? You mean our mother? Oh, there's another woman. It's just, she was highlighted. Die. Why has Washington sent his men to raid the frontier? Washington to find somebody, a native woman who tried to take it from him. Or hey. they will not find me by you. Well, I suppose. Haytham <laughs> didn't fall far what from his Washington baby mama. To do with this? He is no longer commander in chief. He retired to Mount Vernon. A lovely fantasy read on the gate list. You know Washington went mad with power long ago. I tried to stop him but failed. And now I have brought down his wrath upon my own people. Hmm. I do not understand. None of it fits. King are we... Washington's men are raiding Concord right now, murdering everyone. They're looking for you, Canadio. King Washington. Connor. King. <laughs> Poor Connor. He's just like. Never imagined he would strike us so recklessly. Are you talking about Commander Washington? Why did that woman call him king? Many innocent people are suffering because of me. Not only the villagers. We must protect as many as we can. All right. So, in this altered timeline. I guess Charles Lee and co. didn't come down to burn the village. D apparently disobeying Haytham's orders, but that's not really touched upon at all. So, Connor's mother gets to live. But then other things happen. I wonder if... It, hmm, I wonder if in this... Altered timeline if Connor still went to Achilles and stuff. Or would he have learned, like, being kind of assassin from his mother instead? And would he have still gone to kill Haytham? Hmm. Like, maybe we'll learn. Jesus fucking Christ, Concord is just dying. And these people live, refuse, and they burn. It's really quite simple. We don't know who you want. Very well. Please, please. There are women and children in there. They don't care. You're a monster. Do not do this. You had your chance. Do it quietly. And I can't control myself. There we go. Don't let them see. Take them by surprise. Hey, you, you just kill stealing, bitch. So the game still kind of acts like I have my... my stuff. Dang it. Oh, <laughs> Oh, so when I want to stealth assassinate people, the game is like, no, you don't get to. But then randomly out of nowhere, the game does allow it. What the fuck? Connor just went for a cosmic journey there. Jesus, and ha like half the people we've just freed died. There. Fire! For 
moment, I'm just like, are they actually aiming for us? Just remember, people, bonus objectives are worthless. Jesus, they're just annihilating their own people. What do you mean, what are you doing, hurry? I'm following you! I'm not falling behind. This is madness. I cannot understand what is going on. Dare you die, monster? You don't belong in this world. Leave that guy alone. He's done nothing to you. Because I tried to shoot him with a bow, I think it screwed up my ability to counter. You try to shoot him with a bow? Well, now you don't have a sword. The king's army is advancing. Use this gun to stop them. What the fuck? I'd like control. No. Gonna let them all... Come on. Dude that's lagging behind. Why is there like a highlighted thing to the right? I don't like this mini game, I don't think. Prevent any when they just have weird mechanics being thrown at me. Like, I can't even go after the dudes that are trying to kill me. There's a bonus objective for not letting any escape. Utterly nuts, man. A bonus objective for none of them to escape? How would you even do that? to think that it's impossible. <laughs> I think it might genuinely be impossible to actually do that bonus objective. What the fuck? Don't let any escape literally spawns too many soldiers that you have to kill or they'll kill you. It's stupid. Like, unless the there's... Army is advancing. Use this gun to... Like, unless there's a hidden mechanic with that building with that had that highlight, maybe? But it doesn't feel like the game is giving me much time to experiment with this new minigame here. Yeah, because there was a... I think the icon's gone now. Like, what, was it a UI that just broke? And for some reason that also killed the other soldiers.
Yeah, it's just like the the reload is too slow. Oh, and that one guy gets away, it's probably going to count, too. Luckily, the bonus objectives don't mean anything. I feel like that's bad design. I hit the goddamn horse. So why does this not count? Cannon, if only it moved faster. Ah, uh, it didn't. Oh, it did work for some reason. Feels like I have to exploit something rather than actually play the mini game. Retreating. We have done it. Washington's troops do not retreat. They advance or die. To Lexington. We will have a better vantage point from there. I guess because the soldiers are being brainwashed by the apple I to go crazy. Now I must make amends. Scepter. Mother, this all becomes more and more difficult to understand. My memory is bad, mother. Perhaps I should just let Mother tend all the high-ranking enemies. But I do like how they're introducing this DLC. I think you're running towards the evils. Poor people. They must be running from something even worse if they're running towards the evils. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Like, is this a dream thing brought on by the actual Washington picking up an apple of Eden? There she is. The savage that tried to steal the source and symbol of my power. Gaze upon it, or it will be the last object you will ever see. I come here to destroy both you and your sad village. But none like you will be allowed to live. Harsh. Commander Washington, why are you doing this? After all we accomplished... Take hold of your senses. <laughs> Another delusional savage. I have never had such a firm grasp on my senses. Hmm. Now bend your knee to your monarch and make penitence in the last moment before you are blasted to your dread reward. Corporal, take care of them. There's a Hagen, a blue coat over there. Stop them from setting off the powder keg. Kill anyone trying to light the fuses. Here comes another one. Die, fire burner. Well, why do they get to be able to just go like, ah, I kill you and strike at you from far. But when I do it, the game is like, no, you have to be right up there. Like they're just shooting each other. At least they're stealth assassinations for these guys. Drop him! He's almost there. Would help if I like knew where the powder kegs are. But I don't know. Oh, there's powder kegs. So they're just randomly about. Which is kind of mean. Oh, now there's multiple. 
What fun. I wish I could use my bow for this, but sadly, they take multiple hits. That's bullshit. They got there too quickly. How come I have to do animation things, but these assholes are just like, I instantly do it. Here comes another one. Again, if they went down with one arrow, that would be fine, but the game just decided, oh, hey, the, the logical fun thing? Let's not do that. Let's make it annoying and put a bonus objective in there to remind you of your failure, even though they don't do anything. Which basically does mean it's just the developers being assholes about it. It's basically it. He tried to destroy the entire town. It was all my fault. I do not. Are we just gonna ignore the soldiers that walked by? He knows me. He is a man of reason, if nothing else. But that was not the man I once called my friend. Are you confused? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> what is the timeline here for the weirdness? I. My memories so are long. jank, Mom. Washington, the violence, all of it. We must get back and warn our people in the village before the Mad King spreads his destruction there. Again, I wonder what the cause is. Get on that horse. Are we not going to stake around it? I did. I took the horse. I do kind of like that it seems to be linear. The Lexington I knew was the scene of a great triumph. Now it is a I wonder how disaster. open world the DLC will be. This way. It will be faster. We go around the enemy. We still have the dumb AI that see us instantly. Synchronized horses. You will pay. There's a lot of these dudes. Wow, kill this friend. Die, please. Mad King George is on the war path and intends to destroy our village. We need every able body to protect it. Come with us. We know. Oya Nair sent us to collect the boughs of the Great Willow. She means for us to defend our people. To make the tea? What Has tea? She lost her senses? The tea's pitfalls overshadow its power. What is we this must tea? Not do it. You have seen what it can do. Is it dangerous? I have seen it. It is worse than dangerous. It is a promise of madness, even death for those who lack the constitution. We cannot disobey the clan, mother. Believe me! The tea of the Great Willow is folly. Come back with us. We will fulfill the clan mother's request. We will collect the bows. Speak to Oya Nair, and if you can convince her, we will burn them. Interesting. I, I wonder what this tea is. What magical powers it does bequeath. What is the tea of the Great Willow? Something our people should never have discovered. It is the tea brewed of the Great Willow's virgin boughs and consumed by our warriors. Yeah. It grants certain 
strength for the Hungarian, but for every physical boon it gives, it robs a piece of the mind. Huh. It must never be made. Did you drink it? Never. But I have seen what happens to those who do. You are the son of a man of violence. Hmm. It would affect you far more than anyone else. I will not. Atham was quite violent. Then again, you kind of did remind me of Atham when you slit that Atham guy's throat. You intend to brew tea of the Great Willow? Have you forgotten the consequence of drinking it? I have not. No, Danadio. But when our people face a threat like the Mad King, there are no other paths. No other paths? We can fight them as human- One thing that I've noticed is that all the Native American characters are speaking English now. Whereas it was a consistent thing that at least the ones that stayed in the village only ever spoke in their native language, I presume. Giving the benefit of the, the doubt to the developers of this game to do that. So, maybe when they made the DLC, they couldn't get native speakers again? So they had to change voice actors? I don't know. Beans. My son and I have had success, just the two of us. Imagine the strength of our whole village. And how many of these fearless blue coats have you brought down at a time? Two, five, ten, thousands will come to destroy us. Thousands that you awoke. Our people's survival depends on the strength of the Great Willow. You are as mad as the king. Do what you will, but my son will not drink the tea. I've already lost my mind. And like you, he will die. I've already lost my mind. Why not drink the tea? I already don't have any memories of this timeline. Stupid old woman. What would you have us do, mother? We have no choice but to fight. I know. I have something that will help. Something from your father. My father? He left it for you long ago. Before he died. What? <laughs> Before he died. How did he die in this version? I guess he would want to fight against the tyranny of King Washington because it wouldn't be a Templar ruling. My father left those for me. He was part of an order. A secret brotherhood. I know who my father was. And I know what those are. You do? They will certainly help. What, is this a Haytham that was an assassin all the way through? Memories. I cannot explain. Everything is all wrong here. All of this should not be. You should not be. I watched you. So I wonder what kind of a what-if alternate universe this is. I hit the counter button game. Run to the forest. It did the thing again where the like, warnings of them attacking aren't hitting. And the... How dare you do that? I'm here to help you. die for me. I do like the music that's playing. I am taking note of that. Uh. 
Right, combo man. You jerk. You must flee. Well, they knocked me out of the way of the bullets. Thank you. I wonder if this is meant to be like a uh, objective survive moment. How many blue coats can I kill? despair of our project. I question my abilities hmm. and my strength. But with you two at my side, I believe we will bring liberty to this country. We will bring it with... His staff of scepter is more like a mace, it looks I have like. assurance of your loyalty. You have my solemn pledge. And mine. Ah, Benedict Arnold. Thank you, honorable gentlemen. I don't think they're honorable. This country will remember you. Give no quarter to the savages! You will not succeed here. <laughs> hey, there was me in the background. You, you survived. How astonishing. This time I'll make certain of your death. Brutal hits there, Connor. If that's how she dies, that's kind of hilarious. Mother! That's genuinely hilarious. Everybody dies just unceremoniously in this. Who knows, maybe she did survive, but... That was just so quick. You are fighting the force of liberty. Oh, Jesus. Ow. Kill Mad King Washington. How? He has force fields. With my power, I will rule over a free world. Jesus. So yeah, this is obviously a you are meant to lose fight. It literally is a mace. Lol. Get that here. So Connor's just dead. Are we gonna play as his mother? Since she didn't get overkilled, is she gonna survive? What's gonna happen? Or is this all a vision? What is going on? And that's just the prologue. Very interesting. What? So everybody's dead. Now we play as King Washington. Five months later. Did they somehow resurrect Connor? They did. They did resurrect Connor. He is awake. Where are we? A safe place, by the grace of your brothers. Uh, uh. The village. Gone. King George burned it. It was after your mother. Your stubborn mother. Where is she? She did not listen and now she is dead. You take the news well. 
I've already experienced it once. <laughs> it is something that I knew. That I know. But Commander Washington, the revolution, how did this come to be? No one knows how King Washington came to possess the scepter. But now that he has it, no one can stop him. We were surviving, staying out of his way. But Did your then... mother try to steal it from hmm. him? And that just angered him more. Now, our king are dead. And the people of the frontier are murdered and imprisoned. How did Yeesh. we survive? By the strength granted us. By the great willow. The strength you now must find. But my mother, she said... Your mother was a fool, full of ideals and bullheaded. Now that King George's power has been threatened, he is making slaves of everyone. Dreadon Agedon. It falls to you to make good on your mother's mistake. Journey to the Great Willow, climb her, retrieve the virgin boughs in her canopy, drink their essence and gain the power to fight. To bring down this mad King George. Hmm. What power? Gather your strength and I will show you. <laughs> Is this all just a fever dream? Because again, this is the R. Connor. So this is very interesting. You are ready. Great Willow, at the top of the mountain. Epilepsy yes, Snow, my favorite. With the boughs and perhaps some fresh meat to cook. Oh, never mind the meat. Just bring back the branches, boil them in water, and drink the tea. Only then will you be ready to return and fight back with your brothers. Drink her strength. Become one of us. What is Leave the secret no strength? Leading here upon your return. Go. I will meet you at the red willow tree. Uncover lucid dream artifacts across the frontier. So let's see. What's that? It's treasure. So it's just like many treasures all across. Well, I guess we'll hit... Oh, and then there's the memory artifact. If they're along the way, we'll hit them, see how good they are. But, like, more than likely, we'll ignore most of them. Since usually, in these games... Like, at least from, like, the original diddly D. Prepare to die. Will you kindly die, please. Oh, there's no notoriety system, probably because they're all going to kill me on on sight anyway. Quite amusing. Oh, I can hold circle to jump quickly over stuff. I wonder what that does. Dead body getting in my way. Congratulations, you killed your friend. That treasure is mine! Whatever treasure's here, it is mine. Oh. For a moment I thought that he was just... What is with this game and not telling me that I'm being attacked by these assholes? He keeps doing it! 
It's just such bad design when it does that. Quit doing it, game! Tell me that I... You got desynchronized. How? I wasn't hit at the end. And the game just went on a complete tidal wave of her de her we're not going to tell you that you're being attacked because this game is made by vegetables. And there's like far too many elite enemies in this goddamn encampment. I wanted to break it. Game, will you fuck off? Will you fuck off? I'm hitting the goddamn button. You dipshit. Because I was trying to hit the... Baba da the break his stance button so I could actually attack him. Oh, there's grenades. I guess it makes sense. They said they're grenadiers. That's just very annoying game. To be able to let enemies just not attack me. Or like, attack me without me being able to defend myself. Is absurd. And also bullshit game, I hit the button. I also think it's a bit bullshit because game you you are making me dodge grenades which necessitate I hit other buttons so why are you punishing me for getting out of combat Far too many elite enemies in this army. Be gone, elite soldier man. It is also feeling like extra enemies keep spawning. You get off your goddamn horse, you jerk. I have no idea why the initial assault the game just went, and now we're just gonna have you lose. So we have one weapon. At least that is a somewhat worthwhile kind of thing to collect. If only there was like half as many enemies. Like I didn't even use the war club in the main game. I don't even know if it's good or not. It's probably not. Oh, shut up, Wolfie. Why would you even do that? That's worth us here. Are we going to remember the murder, our murder of Charles Lee? Additional memory synced. What that even do? What do you mean by that? Because it's here. It feels like more things should happen. So I don't know what the game wants of me. Let's go to the, like, the DNA memory tracker. Because there's main missions, main missions, main missions, citizen missions, additional memories. Uncover the lucid memory artifacts scattered across the frontier. And then there's just... Hmm... Weird. Because I don't see other lucid memory artifacts. And this memory artifact is still here on the map. It shouldn't be on the map if it didn't want me. Like, what do you want from me, game? This is dumb. Because it's obviously meant to be this big thing, but I can't interact with it.
Or will that wolf shut up? We'll attack the convoy, see what that's like. I... Why is it when I hit the reflex shot button, the game says, fuck off, we're not gonna listen to you? That happens so often now. Me want to play fucking game. What do you mean, no? Why do you- why does the game just not want you to have fun? I sure do love there's only one way to kill this guy, and it's to take away his weapon. You can't even break his stance. Like, what's the point of this game if you can't play it? Open the cage. Open the cage. Yeah, I have half a mind to just go ahead and search what the fuck the deal with the m lucid memory fragments are. Because they seem to be just worthless and there's a billion wolves to bother me while I'm just wanting to go from point A to point B. Because, like, I genuinely don't know if the lucid memory is just walk up, activate it. Or if it's, like... Why are there so many goddamn wolves? Fuck off. Like, for all I know, the wolves are fucking up the lucid memory. Yeah, because I looked at the thing, it activated this, none other exist. And again, it's on the goddamn minimap still. Which makes me feel like it's important. I'm just gonna look it up. Because the game's not gonna tell me what the fuck is going on. Because this is a badly made game. Washington, lucid memory fragments. What are they? What do they do? Would be nice if the game actually fucking told you. Collecting all three is required to achieve blah blah. There are three, and they only appear on your map once you get close to them. All right, as well as once you collect all three. All right, so that's. That, I guess, would be nice if the game actually told you that. But it doesn't. Because this game is bad. So I guess we'll wander a bit for the memory fragments. But yeah, that's just bad design. Honestly, they should just be on the map. But then you'll just beeline it to them. No shit. Like, it would be nice if the game informed you. Of just, like, any of that. Like, wow, it'd be nice if the game could inform me. Of the game mechanics. Oh, you fuck off, game. This will keep me going, sir. So it just seems like everything is just randomly generated. That's what it feels like. That moment when running across a fence is faster than the snow. We will go at least this direction towards the big chests. Because I think the big chests might give, like, weapons like the other one did. But we shall see. Because I do not know what lies in store.
what the <laughs> I don't even know what the general mechanics of this is. He just threw me in and be like, you can figure it out. But in actuality, no. I don't think I can. Gotta love Connor's signature move, the moon jump. Why are there so many enemies? Like, genuinely. There's five billion of them. Do I have, like, grenades of my own? That would be nice. Yeah, there's just far too many enemies just out here guarding these chests. I swear there's like as many enemies in these like random bits as there were in the actual like forts. Game, I hit the counter button and you know it. I love that the camera's having a goddamn seizure. It's not who I'm attacking, you dipshit. Yeah, it's just like far too many enemies, far too many elite enemies that are just annoying to kill. And again, the enemies are... Just, uh, really, all the enemies are annoying to kill in this goddamn game. Like, what even is the... It's just like, oh... Hmm. They wouldn't be mean to put the memories down there, would they? Hmm. And because I, like, spawned on top of the memory fragments spawn range, I don't even know what anything is. I don't know the mechanics of this DLC. Hell, for all I know, the internet answer I looked up is wrong. All because this game refuses to tell the player what is going on. Don't worry, civilian. If I tumble through the snow fast enough, maybe I will save you. I sure do love that the attack animation got caught on the civilian I was saving. Why are there so many goddamn wolves? I'm beginning to hate this DLC just because it's just padding with enemies. Didn't even hit it. Game. The game is being a dick. <laughs> Reflex shoot this enemy and just have no chance to hit them, I guess. Because you know, that's good design. This entire thing is just becoming bothersome. And plus, it's also continuing the sin of there's literally no way to stealth this bullshit. An enemy that's not an enemy decide to see me. That's fun. <coughs> this entire thing is stupid.
I sure do like a guy that's just standing there doing nothing. Game, I hit the goddamn button. Fuck off. <laughs> Why is the combat just beyond dumb in this DLC more so than anything? Probably because they're like, oh, you should use the mechanics. I would like to, but the game isn't letting me. Because it's basically the entire thing. I would like to play the game. Would be nice if the game would let me do that. Yeah, jump over, little itty. Like, hey, game. Kindly fuck off with the alerts. You can do this thing. Yeah, no shit, dumbass. And then I also don't know where the game will want, like, want to send me. Maybe I actually get things by doing, like, the main story stuff, but I don't know. Again, because the game hasn't told me anything. The game just fails to tell you anything. I don't know if it actually changes anything. I don't know what the T will do. The game is like, here's, there's memory fragments. And implies that I can do them now. And then seemingly punishes the player for daring to want to do the thing. Warning, enemy combo, combo leaving. Yeah, because you spawned it at the edge of the universe. And I have to run around an enemy camp. Again, no idea if there's, like, actual things that you get by doing the main story. Like magic powers or something. I don't know. Maybe the game should, like, railroad the player into getting those powers before throwing them into the open world. How do they even realize it was here? I miss the ability to just grab enemies. There's just far too many enemies in this goddamn game. game. Well, what? Can I not use the double-barreled pistol in combat? Why can this guy just tank bullets? Silly to let normal enemies just tank bullets. Oh, wow, well, he's an elite enemy. And how's the elite? He's fat as fuck. And why does it keep unequipping my gun? Game! Why is the game being really fucking weird? Oh, there's a feed civilian. We'll go feed them, then come back and... The game locked up my controls there for a second. That's fun. But considering that I'm not seeing any immediate like memory sequence diddly dees, I'll probably run back to doing the normal diddly dee.
see if I gang any magical powers that make things go easier. Oh, sir. This will keep me going, sir. Apparently there's people getting attacked over here now. And oh, by over here I mean on the uh, fucking Mount Everest. I just want to climb the goddamn rock face game. How do I even know that this guy's getting eaten? How am I this aware? I'm so in tune with nature. I can hear when the wolves come to kill. And then spawns like five billion more to punish me for playing the game. But yeah, we'll probably just head that way since it doesn't seem like the lucid memories are coming in. Again, maybe they're in a stupid place. If they are, why the hell would you do that? It's a very dumb design if they're in a weird place. I enjoy this dying. Idiot. I do think that the, like, just comboing a guy, like, seriously, that guy ha probably has had less armor than most of the enemies that I've killed in the past Assassin's Creed games. Why does it take five billion stabs to kill a guy that's probably not even wearing anything that can actually tank a stab? At least this is, like, the only encampment that has a reasonable amount of enemies. That's... Why does the game just have dumb contextual things? I want to whistle at the enemy, not pick up the goddamn body, you stupid game. And why wasn't that a double assassination? Oh yeah, because this game is bad. You'd think, hmm, two stabbable enemies in range. Stab them both? Nah, the player one is just to stab one. This game is badly made. Also badly made, because I can't open up the chest from the wrong side, quote-unquote. No, you're supposed to open it from the designated position. Even Zelda doesn't do that anymore. Like, seriously, I think if they just had the game be linear missions, the majority of the game would actually be good. But now they're like, ah, we should throw them into the frontier. In the most annoying weather condition. That'll make players want to play the DLC. Totally isn't just aggravation. Seriously, why even program snow to slow down the player? Oh, wow, well, it'll encourage them to uh, use the, uh, the trees. It's just like, oh, yeah, because there's so many trees that'll actually take me to where I want to go right now. And again, just way too many enemies and way too many elite ones when the combat is just not fun to deal with those enemies. Fear me! And honestly, it's just starting to feel like Connor hates doing double stealth assassinations. He only likes action ones.
Connor, why are you being a dipshit? Climb that hill. Oh, but I am a butter. I'm a roly poly rock. Apparently. I follow the momentum rather than where player goes. Play Mirage. I don't own Mirage, and that's far off in the future. Now that's where the real magic comes in. Even though it's like, ah, oh, we're returning to the basics. And by that we mean assassinate five guys with your shadow clones. Which is kind of amusing. I wonder if this tree was even here in the base game. Why do I need two? <laughs> oh, I guess that was the end of mine, and this is the start of the other. I was just like, why are there two? Why are there two mission objectives? You are on your own now. Then why are you here? <laughs> Each journey to the Sky World is unlike any other. For some, it is very dangerous. You will find your answers are at the very top of the willow. Which is kind of amusing. You're on your own now, as he says, being here to help me. Let us hope climbing this tree isn't as much of a bother as past tree climbing attempts. Then again, a lot of them usually just become annoying with trying to get down. Game, I'm trying to go up! It's like the... Better with Connect. The game heard, oh, you want to go down? Easy way to go down, huh? Well, you can go down with against your will. It's just like, how hard is it to program, oh, player is action running at climbable thing. Maybe we should let them climb. Thank you, game, for... Uh, I guess we really are on our, on our own. He left. But what shall happen? Our dear mother was greatly that. against this. I must speak to Washington to make sense of this. It is the only way. <laughs> it was like, a lot. you died, but yet you lived. I apparently never went to become an assassin. Who knows? Maybe Hatham was actually an assassin in this timeline. Are we going to have a spirit quest? Again? Is he going to see the animus? Or be like, huh, oh, what are these triangles? Why is the ground breaking away? Just go full on meta. He tries to take over Desmond's body. Ah, wolf this time. I've killed a lot of you. Is that why there's tons of wolves? I can transform into one and command them? Or something? Do not touch any rocks during slides. What does that even mean? Do not touch any rocks during slides. Like, if I go sliding? But is sliding even a mechanic in this game? I would like to climb game. Or did Connor go like, no, this is a rock, I shouldn't climb it. What if I begin sliding? Then again... <laughs> Why even have bonus objectives here, too? Again, they don't do anything. Ah, sliding! We finally got to the sliding part! I mocked the game long enough that the game went, How dare you mock my sliding comments? You think you're so hot shot? Well, fine, go sliding! Alright, so it's kind of direction-based. 
I didn't even see an elk. Oh, no, it's running away. Okay, that makes sense. I must run with the wolves. Fall through reality. Oop, there goes gravity. Well, that's just mean. Putting a rock right in front of me? I don't know how generative all this is. Okay, apparently the game doesn't want me to go my own way. I was following the heartbeat like it wanted, and then it got angry at me. Track the elk by listening to its heartbeat. I am. But apparently you don't like that. Yeah, because the heartbeat's that direction. I ran that direction, and the game went, No, <laughs> you're doing it wrong. At least that's what it felt like. Like, I have hardly any idea what any of this is. Again, with the spawning of rocks right in my direction. Again, it just feels like the bonus objectives are there just put there by spiteful game developers that are like, I want the player to fail in some way and to be reminded of it. Why would you say track down the elk if you're not going to let me track down the elk? by its heartbeat. You obviously don't mean to actually let the player track the, the fucking thing by the heartbeat. I actually, I actually don't need to do it. I can just see through the world. It's less follow the heartbeat and more follow the designated terrain. I Am I actually going to gang stereotypical super-powered Native American powers? Kill the elk without alerting it. I would like to move first, but I can't. Thank you, game, for not, like, allowing me to do things properly. It let me move before telling me the controls. <laughs> Again, the bonus objectives were made by spiteful devs, it feels like. So interesting, we have the ability to just go kind of invisible, it seems. So I wonder what other mystical abilities we will get. You can use the DNA tracker to retry the mission to achieve full synchronization, but why would I do that when there's no point to do that? It's just a percentage point. <laughs> then he wakes up and is like, oh shit, I tripped out. Was it just a dream? Could I... Could I actually... You best stop moving. So now I use it, just get out of here. My tomahawk. They have taken it. I shall enjoy getting it back. How do they even take my equipment? No one can stop me with such a power. Oh, but if I use it, I take damage. Interesting. And hiding recovers health, which is very cool. He's like, what the fuck was that? Jerk. Ooh. 
So you can actually do that. Interesting. Can I strangle this guy with all my weapons? Because I can't. Why would they even take my hidden blade? Is it telling me that it's in that chest? You dare talk to me? Turn around, jackass. Thank you. Come on, get closer. I'm listening to you. Unless I'm attracting somebody else. So yeah, I assume that it is... Oh no, it's down there. At least I assume. You fool. You cannot find me. I am but a god. You know, even though this is, like, horribly stereotypical of, like, ah, the Native American gangs animal powers. If this was in the main game, I would have had so much more fun. What do you mean, hole to open? This is the first chest that needs this. That's so dumb, game. Why are you just in here? Especially because it looked like, apparently, raw meat was just next to you in a container. This is such a cool power. And it also helps that <laughs> fix the main issue of uh, stealth in this game, because the stealth is horrible. Which is borderline hilarious. They're like, oh no, the stealth is terrible in the base Assassin's Creed game. What do we do? We commit a minor racism. As a gameplay mechanic. Which is just hilarious to me. So what is the secondary power? One man wolf pack. <laughs> I'm happy to see you. Hello, my friend. I became a wolf. Have you seen my brother? He helped me become a I wolf. I saw him just before I climbed the red willow tree. We were tracking blue coats and lost sight of each other. I am worried that he is captured. I fear you may be right. Why don't you use your T powers to help him? Very successful. Perhaps you can join me in the search for my brother. Any secrets you learn from your journey may be very useful. Such a great warrior must not be lost to us. Like even of I will help are you even important? You're just known as the Mohawk warrior. And the game is still UI buggy now because it's like weapons and powers can be mapped to the quick menu. Like no shit game. You can go away now. We are almost there. Or do you want me to do it before you'll go away? Last I saw my brother, he was right around here. Let's see if I can 
see any clues. I hate that the UI is bugging out. Will the words please just go away? I hate this. I don't know if it's like some kind of OCD thing, but like, fuck off game, please. <laughs> Genuinely. This fire is still to the people, <laughs> every dev that was involved in this game that could have fixed this but didn't. Into oblivion with you. You, are, you have to live in the, the creation engine. Helmed by Todd Howard for the rest of your lives. The blue coats were here. Let's keep searching. Seriously, this is just like I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate it so much. Will the words please go away? Jesus fucking Christ. I hate it. It's bothering me beyond belief. Where are the diddly -dees? And now the game is telling me that I've reached the maximum number of rope darts again. Like, maybe I need to climb this tree? Because there's a hideaway hideout. But I can't search this in being a D. Diddly diddly D. Will the words please fucking go away? Fuck off. Like, I feel this should be a, a clue. Of like, hmm. No, genuinely, it's just bothering me so goddamn much. I hate it. Oh, I hate it so much. It is pissing me off the longer it is there. And just making me hate this experience. Why is the AI just so badly done? It's like, what clues game? What fucking clues? Ah, the clues. There are no clues. I hate this. This is a dumb mission with a dumbass UI bug. Maximum number of rope darts. I'm just going to restart because fuck this. The whole game is just disintegrating before my eyes. For all I know, the ge the actual mission bugged too. But god, that was so annoying. It is unacceptable that that kind of thing exists. I barely tolerate when the stupid objective UI bugs out. Or when the actual gameplay UI bugs out. This old man's body is still warm. In this weather, it cannot be more than two hours since he died. In this weather, I feel like he would be frozen over. Tell me, what animal called to you? It is difficult to talk about. But I was fortunate to meet the wolf. You journeyed to a powerful place. You are fortunate. Perhaps. This fire is still smoking. Recently they extinguished campfire. Here. It is not extinguished. Every developer that looks at this and says, Yeah, that's an extinguished fire. Needs psychological evaluation. I think they might be a sociopath. The blue coats were here. Let's keep searching. I feel like the blood leading to that would like be the key. Maybe I need to search it this way instead. It says interact with the clues to analyze them. What clues? They seem to be very small and hidden except for the fire. I am very bothered by this mission design. Okay, because we looked at the fire. We followed the fire away because I figured that would be, like, the main thing. The game is still bugging out. Apparently, whenever it auto-saves, it just has, like, 
ha resend that, but it couldn't refresh the goddamn UI while it was at it. We have to remind the player of it, like the latest thing that they like did. But refresh the UI? No, that's a sin. Yeah, it just feels weird because we come here after the dead guy, which I missed the first time. I feel like we come up here, and there's two ways. Like maybe I need to investigate these dead bodies, but there's no, there's no nothing. No nothing. So obviously not. We come up here. Can investigate the blood. Can investigate the blood. The NPC guy with no name says, hmm, the blue coats are near. I can investigate that. Like, what, do I just follow this path and ignore the thing that the game tells me to do? I think we found your brother. But the game's not going to activate it, because it's dumb. Like, I genuinely think this mission might be bugged. Either that or it's just being a pedantic asshole. Okay, so it just seems that that just activates whenever... Oh, there's... Like, I swear. Why? Did they add a different, like, magnifying glass icon? Because... I swear, in other... In the main game... When you're searching for clues, you could do this, and it would activate the clue magnifying glass. Like, I don't know. Like, the hunt. The hunting ones. It is certain that he was here. And it would be far more obvious. And now are we going to do this? Oh, hey, this thing that is far more obvious than the broken bow. Like, I feel like if the player got to the slave cart, we should be able to just move on with our lives. Mighty warrior who drank the tea. After the fight, the prisoners were marched up the hill. Kill two blue coats with a single arrow. How do I do that? No, genuinely, how the fuck do I do that? Where the fuck? Hello, my man. That's what you get for being weird. Weirdman. you call on your spirit animal what why is the we will need help kill two blue coats with a single arrow i walk to the next destination game fails when there was only one blue coat for me to interact with before this point did the develop did the person in charge of making the optional objectives just have brain damage what the fuck I see that I was right. Your sky journey has given you a powerful gift. That Magic. Literal. What do you want with me? I didn't do nothing. Wasn't hurting nobody, just hunting deer. The mother fellas is who you want. What others? Bunch of shoulders. <laughs> no. Nasty fellas. So I'm rounding up engines over yonder. One of the braves. Did he have a hand mark on his face? You mean like a big tattoo across his chin? Yeah, I seen that fella with him. Hard to miss. <laughs> Take us to this camp. No can do. Uh, sure. Sure. This guy's gonna Whatever end up dead, isn't he? Want. I still don't understand that bonus objective was like kill two guys with one arrow, only give you one enemy with no other guys around the wolves. before failing yeah. you. Help me. Oh. For the love of the king, help! You are a weird man. I 
I go invisible. No one can find me. Are they in the goddamn trees now? They're culturally appropriating our ways of murder. And the fucking EUI broke again, didn't it? With the, hey, use this to call the diddly D. I'm restarting. Fuck off, game. I am not going to put up with your bu UI bullshit. There we go. It's fucked off now. Oh, man. But yeah, that I don't know why it's such a consistent issue. And it just refuses to go away. There's no like refreshing. Why? You'd think that if you were making a video game, one of the few things would be, hey, should the UI not piss off the players? And then every single person that says, no, it should, needs to be defenestrated out a window into a bundle of cactuses. And then fed to the fish. I just hope that this UI thing goes away at some point. It probably won't because the game's badly made. Oh, these guys actually do have names. They're just always referred to as Mohawk Warrior everywhere else. For some reason. I can just use Wolf Cloak to cheat the game. I love it. Oh, because I still don't know why everything is hold to use now when before it didn't do that. Everything was press once activate. Brother. My brother. I knew you'd find us. Again, Mohawk it's Warrior. Nice they have here. names, but they're not putting we'll them in the subtitles. We will make sure that these people are taken care of. You should return to the clan, mother. She will want to hear of our adventure. I think they swapped voices. I, it, it just feels like they did. Yes, you can go away now. I'm, I must can... tell the clan mother. I can do anything now. I can do anything now. Except find the goddamn diddly D. Guess I'll hit that treasure, hit them on the way back. But yeah, I, I just, oh hey, the UI is still there because this game is just evil. Jesus fucking Christ, what is wrong with this game? Genuinely. Yeah, like, I just hate it. I hate it so much, and there's not even a, a restart point for me. It's like every single time a major fucking UI thing comes up now, it just breaks the goddamn UI. Because this game is bad. Just like, why? Don't mind me, I'm just coming up behind you. I'll just wait for my help to come back. The game's gonna piss me off with the stupid UI.
Silly man, you're not from Japan. You can't say you're already dead. That's illegal. So the best way to play this game is bullshit. Because that's what the game does. With the UI, at least. And no, I'm not going to stop harping on it because it's still there! And it seems to be consistent. Apparently there's a starving civilian somewhere. Goodbye, animal. I must have your meat. Yama. The first thing I'm gonna do when I get into the next mission is a restart to get rid of that fucking UI. What is wrong with this game? I can't believe it. Oh, thank you. This is genuinely unacceptable. Seriously. Either it should be a pop-up that I can tell to fuck off. Or it should just have an automatic timer. Like, it, it spawns. And after 15 seconds, or less, it goes away. It is just genuinely unacceptable that this game has UI issues like this. It is just a genuine in game. I put down the fucking ding, ding, ding. Activate, you asshole. Press L1 to call the wolf pack. Press L1 to call the wolf pack. Genuinely, what is broken in this game? That the, uh, like, command line that says, UI fuck off, is not activating. Because surely... And again, it's just like, either this was something that was an issue since the original Assassin's Creed 3, or this is something they broke in the remastered. And even all these years later, for both of them, they haven't fixed it. This is genuinely unacceptable. Like, it would be one thing if this was like Assassin's Creed 1, and I'm just like, oh, maybe, because it's a game from a billion years ago. Maybe. That would make some level of sense. Well, they sense me. They do. Shenanigans. How dare they remove my ability to stealth the wolves, the hypersonic wolves that dash at my face. You cannot skin animals while you're in combat. Oh, so that goes away. But the press L1 to call the wolf pack. That there, that's there eternally. A pox upon the house of all programmers who could have fixed this and didn't. A pox. Like a tiny little itch on the heel of their feet that never goes away. A pox upon their house. I'm not going to bar up the other one. They're just top-offs. What even is attacking me? What the fuck? Why aren't you on the... This game is badly made. It has enemies that are just not on the map at all. Why are they not on the map? I don't know. Because this is, maybe the game has the guards mixed up for wanted posters and decides not to put them on the map. What is wrong with this game? It genuinely feels sometimes like somebody just sabotaged the game. Some of these, like, issues are just so baffling. Like, how can you even make a game and have this happen and not fix it? It's one thing if you, like, it's a triple-A game. It was super crunched. 
and it's like day one. But this this is unacceptable to have been a thing that they just haven't fixed for literal years. Press L1 to call the wolf pack. I don't even need to memorize it. It's just there. Haunting me. Find me. So yeah, they literally expect you to abuse this power up through the entirety of everything. Like, there's no way they expect you to genuinely fight enemies. They expect you to spam this. Like, that's the only answer. The developers were so bad at this game, that, and, the and they made the stealth so bad, that they just decided, eh, screw it. We'll just make a super stealth power-up that gives you infinite stealth kills. And you can just abuse that for the entire game. That is 100% what happened. They made the stealth so terrible. That once it got to the point where they didn't have much to work on. Making the stealth good. They just decide, screw it. Infinite stealth kills that you can abuse for eternity. And just like, ah, oh, it drains your health. Well, yes, that resource, that's basically worthless. Like, it's not like I can... Will you fuck off, you cunts. Fuck off. I hate that it just randomly takes me out of wolf mode. Like, maybe if I go down a health circuit or something. Like, those little jagged bars. It's like I go down one of, to the, one of the jaggeds. It's like, ah, we're gonna take you out in case you accidentally clicked it and don't want to die. Nah, I just want to use my infinitely respawning cod health to stab these guys to death. Why actually play the game? It's obviously not designed to be played. Good fucking lord, can I just go faster of this stupid snow? Oh hey, everyone's dead. I told you not to be followed, and you were. Back here. Your brothers fought well, but there were too many. I thought the tea gives strength, not immortality. Says you. I'm going to live forever. I have never felt anything like it. You must be careful. Respect the power of the tea. Your mother was right. What do you mean? Worry about the danger. What do you mean? I am certain I can defeat anyone. Your mother was right to worry about the danger. First, but like the danger of the tea didn't Arthur. bring all this. Stop the destruction here. Then kill Washington. 
and then kill Putnam as the actual final boss later. Shut the fuck up. Not you. Oh, buddy. And now you are eternally alone. Press L1 to summon the wolf pack. I hate it. Hate it so much. Why isn't there a, like a command to wipe the UI clean after you get out of a cutscene? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, and also seems like the lucid memory fragment went away at last. You know what? I'm just gonna... One second. <coughs> I'm just gonna look up the locations because honestly, fuck it. Where are the memory fragments? Because, like, knowing this game, it's probably broken. One was there, I activated it. And then it was still there, and then it seemed to fuck off. So it's just weird. Baby B. All right. So apparently one will, I guess, will be over here, and then another one's like in the top right. And there's only three, of which we already done one. Again, why is the snow hampering my movement? This is not fun. So I'm just going to assume... We'll just go until we get to that one mission next to it. So at least next to the second one. Use no snock stocking bushes to eavesdrop. Orange markers, yeah, we don't want to kill. Oh, fuck off. The thing came back. I hate this game. What do you mean detected? I was already detected far of long ago. But yeah, the press L1 to diddly D is gonna be here eternally, isn't it? Oh wait, I died, so it should actually be fixed. I f <laughs> Oh, during the eavesdrop itself. Here, I thought you would be so poorly designed that you would not work at all. But you know what? I don't fucking care. Because the bonus objectives are shit. So why should I care? Hmm. Each man is as mad as the next. Putnam gutted a man yesterday for having dirt in his musket. I'm all for weeding out the weak, but this is something else entirely. Be careful, lad. We're on the right side, but that doesn't mean we're safe. We dealt with those savages like we were supposed to. Tough as nails they was, but we brought them down. Felt good. We have nothing to worry about. Don't be so sure. We've got one more day in this place before we're relieved, and then it's off to the Valley Forge awaiting orders from Commander Putnam. Where's Arnold? gone off into some sort of seclusion until the king sets his plans. How the hell are you supposed to do this without using the bushes, I swear. The bonus objectives are literally impossible in this game, I feel. Or at least this DLC. There is literally no point to complete the bonus objectives. They are meaningless. Oh, and now the press diddly D to exit's gonna be the eternal UI segment now. Good fucking god. Why? Okay, it at least seems that. Like, I don't know. Like. 
the game, I think, is having a, just an overall seizure. Convoy is leaving! I don't know where the convoy is, game. You've spawned it, and then it's nowhere, because I'm in a mission, and you just... Unless the convoy is actually there. Ah, oh, it is. I just thought that a normal convoy spawned. Because, again, I do not have faith in this game. I just assumed that a normal convoy spawned in a mission and thought the game was just having a seizure. You know, like the UI is eternally. game is just dying. We are if anything, I'm disappointed that the UI, like, press diddly D to do Once this, isn't in the cutscene. Camp north of here, I will join you at Valley Forge to help you to repay your kindness. No need. But if I see you there, I will be happy for your help. You may find other camps full of our enslaved people. They are sad reminders of Arnold's terror and devastation. I don't trust you, game. You wiped the entire UI. The, U the other UI is going to come back, isn't it? It's going to be stuck there for all eternity, isn't it? You're going to punish me for existing. Yep. Why is this game just made terribly. It's like if you handed somebody the code from Revelations and then just told them, make it as bad as you can. Because, like, honestly, the UI just standing there eternally has to be somewhat intentional at this point with how often it is happening and how it's confined purely to this DLC. That's probably not at all what they intend, because like, oh, if it drains their health, they won't want to do it in combat. Nah. I'm going to instant kill everybody in s combat stealth for eternity. I'm not going to engage with your mechanics with earnestness anymore. Not when that stupid UI bug is going to be haunting me throughout this entire game. This entire DLC. You've brought this upon yourself, game. Hi, diddle diddle. It's none of your business. Apparently it is, because I am the murderer. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Well, you shouldn't. Instead, you should die. I gave him poisoned food, as he deserves. You see nothing, jackass. Stab. I'll be a better man. I saved you from a guy that was probably going to kill you. That's all you have to say to me? The ghost man that haunted your way? Stab you, just gonna stab you, just gonna stab you. 
just gonna stab you because I'm not gonna engage with the elite units in this game. Screw that. The elite units can go to hell. There's no fun to be had fighting the elite units. They're the elite units. The elite units are bad. And look, the game is just encouraging me because it's <laughs> throwing so many enemies at me. Surely this is the intended way. Screw you, game. That guy shot me while I was invisible. And then the game glitched again and didn't give me the counter notification because this game is dumb. Genuinely, this game just doesn't want you to have fun. This game should never have been sold. I can't believe it. Food. Oh, thank it is honestly that bad at this point. It genuinely needed another year. And it's just extra baffling because this is DLC. How is it even worse? You were developing it after the initial game dropped. Why did you just let it be bad? Oh, hey, look, a guy that wasn't on the minimap because this game is ass. Oh, hey, five billion people who aren't on the minimap because this game is fucking brain dead. Genuinely, this is so fucking stupid. Why aren't they on the minimap game? Why aren't they on the minimap game? Why aren't they on the fucking minimap? It's so fucking stupid. This is unacceptable. That is an unacceptable fucking glitch. Hell, for all I know, these guys just respawned. Honestly, that's probably what happened. I killed the guys, the game pissed itself, and spawned new enemies. Honestly, I could see that being the genuine answer. Why just more and more guys keep coming? This is so dumb. Can that please be it, game? Stop spawning assholes. But yeah, just like so many of these things are just unacceptable. Some of them are minor, like the UI, but that just drives me insane. Like, genuinely, if that UI glitch had happened in the main Assassin's Creed 3, like, gameplay section, I probably would have dropped the game. That it is that level of fuck no for me. But yeah, genuinely, the UI glitch is that bad for me. Just bothers me to no end. Again with the dudes who just aren't on the fucking minimap. From a gameplay perspective, that's unacceptable. And just more and more keep coming. Because this game is terrible. Genuinely. That is also an unacceptable thing. If enemy exists, they should be on the minimap. Can they all fuck off now? Is that it now? Because again... It's just not acceptable. It is one thing to have a million soldiers. It is a second thing to have a million soldiers and half of them just aren't on the minimap for some reason.
It's like they substituted the notoriety system in this DLC to half sin the Terminator soldiers after you anyway. They're not as bad as the Terminator soldiers, but boy howdy are they just way too many soldiers. There's a camp here, for some reason. Help the starving civilian. Haven't I already done that mission, the prerequisite five times? Do the hungry civilians also just spawn upon scenting my food? Will one of them turn out to be a yeti? And what about your presumed wife? Will it also keep her going, or is she just the emergency food? Justice served. Through the power of my wolf powers, I will kill everyone. Everywhere. They stalk the edges of the camp with dogs. These are very good dogs, Radunagedon. Alert, with sharp eyes. If you get even many yards away from them, they yowl and bring the soldiers. Huh. Thank you. I'm going it to guess that the game here. says, Ah, if you get discovered, you lose. You have repaid my kindness. You will succeed, Radunagedon. Goodbye. At least that's good to know. I would like control. And the game just took away my... What is with this section and just having a ton of glitches added onto it? Oh, that's why, because it wanted to automatically set bait. Alright, so use bait to escape guard dogs. I wonder if all guard dog, like, patrols will have the icon. It does seem like it. Oh. Can I just use bait whenever? Where is my ability to bait? Beginning to hate this game. Because... The game didn't actually really tutorialize all that well. It was like, you can bait. I looked for my bait. There was no bait because they changed bait to raw meat for some reason. It's not bait. It's raw meat, you insipid, dumbass game. It wouldn't be that bad if not for the fact that the base game uses bait as a term. I'm sorry, this is just such bad design. Utterly bad design. Hey, game. I saw that on the map, mini-map. You'll ma miraculously spawn that, but... Oh, nothing actually good. Game, will you fuck off? Hmm. Really, I should probably set that, because I'm going to use it more than anything. And then we'll set... Oh, it's on... Yeah. Meh. On this wheel. Meh. And I accidentally selected that, so... Me dim.
But I wonder if I can walk up on it when it's baited and kill it. That's one way to do it. A completely scuffed way, but it's a way. Well, that's the entire motto of Assassin's Creed 3. The scuffed way is the way. And also, at least... Like, the guard dog mechanic is getting decent use. Oh, hey, it's the memory thing. It's actually here. I'll try to activate it while I'm here. I mean, I could do that. Or will I not be able to, like, uh, activate it because people are around? Oh, the game's just gonna take control away. I must speak with Arnold myself. Yes, sir. I'll arrange a detail to escort you immediately. I do not need one. You are acting commanding officer in my absence. If anything should go wrong, well, <laughs> your widow will be provided for. Dismissed. It's almost yes, threatening. Sir. At least I know where it is, so I guess after this mission I can sneak back in and stuff. I would like control back, game. Why does it take control away from me? For something that's meaningless. Especially because they put that here, knowing that it's probably going to be the player's, like, first time in the area. Alright, so that technically activated it. Good. The scuffed way is the best way, apparently, in this game. But god, it's just so dumb. At least I have my super wolf powers to guide me. The previous Assassin's Creed games didn't need wolf powers for the player to actually stealth through the stealth game. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. You better not see me. I don't trust this game. <laughs> he was instinctively looking at my bush. What the fuck? Dude's just randomly found me because the AI in this game is fucking stupid. Yeah, they're just randomly hunting me down for no reason. Like, genuinely. And once again, the glitch of randomly in, like, the actual stealth zone, but they're still going to see you and find you because we programmed the game terribly strikes again. He's on a horse, but he's, like, waiting for me to catch up so I can regenerate. Because this is a lazy stealth game now. Oh, hey, dogs. I threw bait, so will you kindly fuck off? Why interact with mechanics when you can just scuff away? Um, there's no fucking bushes anymore.
At this point, the game probably is expecting me to be jumping through the trees, but... I don't trust you, game. I don't trust you at all. Hell, I can't even trust the game to not throw magically appearing soldiers at me with how it's handled the mini-map. Reduce distance to target. He's on a fucking horse. What do you want me to do? Hate this game. Again, maybe they're thinking like, oh, they'll go through the trees. Why would I ever trust you, game, to go to let me go through the trees? You literally have soldiers up in here that should be seeing me. Especially because you gave me the wolf powers. Why wouldn't I be using the wolf powers instead? I'm probably going the wrong direction, too. I know, because he kind of goes in that direction, right? So I should be good. And eh, no, I'm probably in the wrong way. Yeah. This game bad. Why would you have two different ways to go through the trees in this section? Again, when I do not trust you, game, to lead me in the right direction all that well. He, mer he magically decides, I'm going to speed up now. For no reason. And like, why do we even need to tail him? Couldn't we use our magical Native American powers to follow him anyway? Just follow his scent? Free the bear without killing or alerting the guards. Well, why would I do that? I guess to just... It's just a random thing to do. Not even an internal monologue from the boy. It's not so bad. The bear's in a cage. Nice down not too strong to me. That bear'd soon eat us. Just look at us. He looks friendly enough. <laughs> friendly until he's hungry. Even so, our duty ain't as bad as Harry's. Why? What's Harry got to do? Harry's gonna cage. die. Oh, that's just it. I just need to leave the area. He's not screaming. <laughs> did 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 me moving screw up the thing? I think it did. I think me moving messed up the cutscene because the guy was walking towards me. <laughs> this has become Looney Tunes. Hey, sharp boy. This is hilariously bad. <laughs> Damn it, game. You're a very annoying game. Swear I pressed the button. At least it loaded me in here. We had a good checkpoint system, at least. And now the graphics are still going haywire. I'm going to assume that he's probably up there. Must have been nothing, you magical searching exactly where I am, man. Yes, I know, game. Is he just gonna walk back and forth eternally? No, he's just doing playing Ring Around the Rosie with the tree.
Boy, howdy, this game is dumb. Goodbye, friend. <laughs> Just suddenly. Probably not even gonna have a confession, are ya? The sad thing is, despite all the bugs and all the scuff, the wolf power alone makes this feel more like Assassin's Creed than the uh, Assassin's Creed 3 ever did. I have waited a long time to end your treachery. You escaped me once, but today you die. Who are you? What, what is happening? You know who I am. I've he never doesn't. Seen you before in my life. Connor, you should really get it. Get the get it by now. Washington's apple. He uses it to control men. You, you have to believe me. I, I, I was not of my right mind. What you did at West Point was of no one's mind but yours. West Point? I, uh, I never set foot in that fort in my life. <laughs> so in this Please. universe, ben Benedict Arnold is a good guy. He, he's gone mad, you. You have to bring him down. He's... He's no more a man, but a monster. <clears throat> Find Benjamin Franklin in Boston. Uh, he can help you. But you have to... Fr you have to free him. <clears throat> free him from where? Where? Boston. <laughs> the entire city is now his prison. Connor, this always happens to you. you. This always happens to Connor. He is the most snuck up upon assassin in the history of Assassin's Creed. It is honestly maddening. Oh! Enjoy your nap! <laughs> it's a shame about I wonder if all the memory things are I had to laugh at your expression like per episode you. or just three great big eyes and then out <laughs> out like a light god damn you Putnam <laughs> you woke up just in time we'll be arriving in Boston town that will soon be mine I wonder if I'll be Washington able to leave Boston or if I'm just Attack. locked out of that lucid memory thing the now. You. The man you shot point blank, I give him to you as a little gift. <laughs> Look, he wears a wolf hat too. You have gone mad, all of you. Hilariously, the only one that wasn't mad was like Benedict Arnold. Come on, use your wolf power. With that. He'll kick out Ben Franklin for sure. And Boston will be mine. It's in the bag. Just like your head! <laughs> but seriously, this just always happens to Connor. Oh, yes. You will make for quite the gift. Boston to be continued. Now, since it's an episode, it's either the episode will end, kick me back to the frontier, or it'll just continue to Boston. Hmm. Like, I don't really care about the lucid things. Honestly, the game doesn't really. What do they even do? I'm gonna quickly head back on my search. See if I can find an answer. Are they even worth? What is their point? Hmm. I wonder if it'll just drop me back in. We'll have to see. Because if it just drops me back in to, like, redo, like, memories at my leisure kind of setup, then I'll just run up to the waterfall thing. Okay, good. Oh, hey, I'm kind of in the area. Because they said, like, the top right-hand corner. Is 
Yeah, there are just far too many, like, treasure chests for this mini DLC episode. Just far too many. Honestly, again, I think that it would have been far better if it was just, like, a consecutive, like, mission thing and not an open world. Because really, by this point, the open world is, like, the least interesting aspect of the whole thing. Help the starving civilian. Where would I do that? Additional memory synced. We'll quickly check the DNA tracker. Let's see. Yep, additional memories for this section. It is complete. If it doesn't save, well, that's on the game. Don't know what that was. On to the betrayal. Previously on. I'm just. Can I skip, please? I would like to skip. Why can't I skip this? I already played all this. I could skip this, please. I would like to skippy. Also, the. I just. I just realized something. It's using the graphics. I think. To make the tea. From Assassin's Creed 3 not remastered. And it genuinely looks better. That's hilarious. You will not succeed here. You. You survived. How stupid. They're, they're genuinely reused. Like, like it's not even in engine. It's just a recording. Of the Assassin's Creed 3 version. At least I assume. Like, the lighting and graphics on the, like, church shot scene looked so different. Like, some of it feels like it's pretty similar. Other parts feel like they're very different looking. And it also feels like it's in 360p. Find Benjamin Franklin in Boston. He can help you. We have to free him. Free him from where? Yeah, the shadows seem pretty different. Got you. Got you. Yeah, I swear that's just a recording of the Assassin's Creed 3 version of, of the cutscenes. Like the eye of Sauron, George Washington watches us. Watching over us. I've got a present for you, Your Highness. A present? I think you'll be rather pleased. A very thoughtful Putnam. Do you know any of this, Mr. Franklin? No, it'd be introduced to me. What sort of present, General Putnam? The best sort. Come see. Rouse him. A guy that you thought was dead. It's the one who blasted point blank in the village, sire. Really? How did I get up so quickly? He survived. Remarkable. Yes, well, I've captured one myself, sire. In the next cell, a savage who joined that traitor, Sam Adams. Have them both beheaded. Along with a score of citizens. <laughs> Taken at random. Why? Example to all. Random citizens? Isn't that rather harsh, Your Majesty? Harsh, sir? Is it harsh to defend our freedoms? Is it harsh to extinguish those who would enslave us? Mr. Franklin. That is I hilarious. Just commitment. take random the citizens. Cause, sir. Yes. Yes, of course, Your Majesty. Have the scaffolds made ready. My liege. Putnam, I fear Mr. Franklin is going soft. 
Now you're just going insane. So cool Granted, he's already crush. insane. He's just going more insane. I will consider rearranging just who is in charge. I already have a plan, my lord. As for you, let's see how you survive with the loss of your head. Huh? <laughs> Carry on, Putnam. Yes, your highness. You'd think he'd be so insane that he would just take that gun and shoot us while we're here. Stay sharp, soldier. He's gonna, like, fall asleep next to my cell and I'll be able to escape. Don't you dare try anything. I've got my eye on you, I do. And can I use my wolf cloak to just disappear? Help! He's escaped! I need help! You. Help! What's happened? He was there, then gone. There must be a hole or something. Hilarious. Hey, anyone alive? Get me out of here. Oh, hey, are you friend who is like became not friend? Ganandokon. <laughs> Alive. Oh, my friend, I cannot believe you are here. And you? They said you had been killed, along with your mother. The clan mother brought me to hell. Ganondogon. I was unable to protect my mother. I was unable to save the village. I'm very sorry, Mohagedo. There has been difficult here as well. Please do not fall to the wiles of Charles Lee in this Rebels. universe. We are too few and too weak. But hurry, get me out. Washington has been slaving the people and looting everything. He ships the slaves and treasure to New York to build his town. The rebels tried to take that city. We were ambushed and I was captured. We're locked. Oh, there's the key. Wait, you'd think that, like... For getting me out of there. Oh. I, I thought I just killed these guys. No, I decided to throw them into the pit. Help! He's escaped! I... It is hilarious that, like... The wolf powers are just canonical. Wait here. I will let help! you through when it is He's clear. Escaped! I need help! Stay here, I say. I also find it amusing that, like... Whenever I, like, choke out George Washington, the game's like, no, that's evil. When I do it to normal guys, it's just knocking them out. Come with me, friend! Oh, never mind. It just wasn't updating all that much. Hey, you still here in Boston? Makes me nervous. I would cast you distinguish ourselves in this room. I'm a secretary. How's that? Commander Franklin wants curfew imposed at 10 o'clock. But then General Putnam told me to start at 9. You're minced meat, my friend. Franklin is harsh, but Putnam is crazy. I'd better start at 9. <laughs> Hmm. Hope I can climb this without being seen. Game I like to hang down.
You'll see nothing, please. Get stomped. As I gather up my other things. What is that? From the Red Willow. Ah. That is how you can move as you do. You went on a sky journey. Yes. I'm the last of them. Only three of us went on it. What are you doing? We want to defeat Washington. I will need the strength from the animal spirits. It's def it's dangerous. No. I defied my mother to go on that journey. It is too dangerous. I have no choice. I would you're risking yourself for nothing. I would basically tell him, is like, listen, let's get out of here, and, like, maybe you can drink it later, but not in the middle of enemy territory, please. Even with the help of the wolf, I was taken captive. You don't know anything. Every journey holds a chance of meeting a new animal spirit. Wait. Every journey holds a chance of losing yourself. I understand the risk. I will take the journey. A second one? Hell yeah. Again, I feel like we should wait until we're, like, in a good place. But also, I, we did not bottle any of the tea. We just did not. Am I going to end up killing my friend again? I, I don't understand what this is. A little mini game that... Only now has spawned. Like. What even is it? Was it meant to be a thing all along? In loading screens I could snatch apples as a thing to do. But then. Just for no reason. It just broke? Is that what it is? I don't know. This game is just... Like, I do not trust anything in this game. I think everything is broken in this game, really. I must climb to find the animal spirit. Hilariously, it's the first animal spirit. Then again, I guess in this universe, this timeline... I will defend the eggs. They're out there. But they'll have to get through me. Because of their contextual activation conditions. If I just stand next to the nest, they can't get any of the eggs. It is my power. We will make a nest out of their corpses. Will it dive into me? Yay! That was so much faster than the wolf one. Oh, hell yeah. These are such cool abilities. But, like, kind of wasted on this game. <laughs> These are such cool abilities. Like, if the game, like... And you just know that the games aren't going to continue in this direction. You just know that the games aren't gonna go with this stuff, because this is cool. A little finicky on, like, uh... 
act like selecting where I want to go. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it feels finicky. But this is cool. And then I guess... Where are we going to end up now? We literally... Oh! Like, honestly... I wish the game was more like this. Like, more linear sections. And less about the open world. Granted, these cool abilities would fit the open world a lot better, but... Yeah. I don't know, just like... The, they have so much potential and then it just feels floundered and wasted. I Really, I think a lot of these ideas would be so much cooler like in a different game. <laughs> Like a semi-open world action-adventure game where you play as a guy who transforms into various animals as, like, abilities. I think that'd be cool. Instead, it's Connor. And still, far simpler and more linear feeling than the wolf one was. Now, where will we end up after we became a bird? Oh, we're just still here? Blue coat. I've sounded the alarm. Did you see a spirit? I am a bird now. Are you alright? I never felt better. I am a bird. Apparently said something about eagle assassination. Savages, kill them, or Washington will have our heads. Or at least mine. Ain't nobody here at all. Not a blessed thing here. Let's see. Ah, oh, they're already selected. This is still the best ability because I can just kill them all. Franklin, those are the savages. Attack! I'll take the blue coat. You stop Franklin. How will this go? Are we just gonna instantly find him? Not even a chase. Poor Franklin, he's just not built for this. Built enough for that, it seems. Like, imagine, you're just a colonizer, then suddenly a dude becomes a bird. Assassinate Ben Franklin! I thought we were supposed to meet up with him! Okay. <laughs> I thought, I thought that's what, like, Benedict Arnold was saying, go to Boston, free Benjamin. No, we're here to kill him, okay. <laughs> That's honestly hilarious. You. And where... I... I don't understand. Who am I? Why did Arnold say that you could help me? Is this me? It is. This is myself. I've come to myself. Poor guy. My God, what have I done? 
<laughs> that line read is hilarious. I don't care for those who meddle in my plans. Battle of the Center of the Mind, Washington. Yes, I can. <laughs> this is hilarious now. <laughs> That's such a stilted punch animation. <laughs> Damn it. Let this singe your flesh. Dang it. What was I even supposed to do there? Oh, I guess maybe now I need to become wolf? Don't know why we're taking orders why from. You disobey me, my son? Uh, because it was a good idea. I mean, no neg negative consequences have happened yet. Your mother cannot help you now. I wanted to protect you. And you failed twice in two timelines, which is very impressive. You failed to save your village. You failed to save your mother. In what way do you mean? And then I became arrows. Well, that was a trippy sequence. Apple. Apple. Again, I have no idea what that is except for like a mini game during the loading. I killed him. I had him. I had Franklin. I think I killed him. Then, Washington. I, I do not know. Washington? Maybe I don't have to free Franklin from a prison. I have to free him from Washington's power. Oh, hey, the Illuminati symbol. Young man, do you need a doctor? I found an ally right on the gate. Samuel Adams. Yeah. Do I know you? I... I know... I mean, he's beginning to accept. <laughs> You are the famous man with the wolf hood. I admire the work you have done, and are doing now. We fight, but times are hard. We could use your assistance. So now I'm go guessing that... Get on. We should all get out of here. We found a place that is safe. I'm going to guess that now we're in the open world. We are in the open world. Of which now there are memory fragments. Of which... I'm going back to that guy to find locations of them all. Just so I can square them away. Right, betrayal. So yeah, that one is right where we are. Let's see. I would like to fly. Oh, but I don't have it selected. Like, this is such cool power. Ah, the memory of the Boston Massacre. We didn't even meet Achilles in this timeline, did we? Achilles is probably dead. Let's see. I believe the diddly D pointed me in that direction. Since I have my magical powers, I don't feel the need to go after the treasure chests. They're just resources, weapons, nothing of actual tangible merit for me. Like, seriously, this is so cool. It, it trivializes the parkour, but... My god, it's fun. Wait, well, did I see a different icon? No, it was just a mini chest.
Don't know why it's like, hey, help the civilian who's five million miles away. Again, it's just hilarious that the stereotypical Like the Native American stereotyping of animal powers is the most fun that I'm going to have in Assassin's Creed 3. Which is hilarious because, like, the base game, I think, did a good job of avoiding, like, undue things. Like, stereotypes. I would like to stab the guy, but he just ran away. I shall fly away and come back another day. Why are there so many? It also feels like they made the wolf power, at least like in combat, it's like, oh no, you send a wolf out to strangle man. game just let me play my game game and again it just continues to annoy me will the game actually fucking show me the counter notifications and stop throwing a billion soldiers at me why is it just determined to not let the player have fun in this game Jesus fucking Christ why is this game just made by idiots who don't want the player to have fun? And again, just way too many goddamn soldiers that you can't stealth because stealthing is bad in the stealth game. Like seriously, there's way too many goddamn soldiers for no reason other than to like punish the player for daring to want to play the game. Get down now! You're just annoying little bastard, ain't you? What the fuck, game? Will you fuck off and let me play? No, we need guy who shoots you with guns so you can't have fun anymore. This is just not fun. At all. I hate this. And of also, the guys with muskets are like perfect aim, because you know, that's fun to play against. And the AI immediately knows where you've gone, because you know, these guys have had practice hunting down magical shapeshifters. I just want to get the memory fragment, but the game is just being a cunt about it, and I hate it. I can just do this to escape. Ma ha 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 ha. But I can come over here and kill them. By refusing to play the game, I can have the most fun I've ever had playing this game. Because you know that's good design. And those guys, they just came out of nowhere to know where I am. And are also not on the mini map because this game is made by chimpanzees. I swear, this is Monkey the Typewriter. Will you fuck off and let me leave, you cunt? You cunt of a game. I fucking swear. Oh, but we have to let the soldiers know where you are or else you escape. Hey, bitch-ass game, let me play. The goddamn game. I 
I swear, they should not be able to just hone in on where I am. It's just annoying. Because like, why are there just so many soldiers surrounding the one thing that players will... Like, it's, it's the one thing you would care to do aside from the main thing. And they just make it a bitch to do. Just why? Why would you just be so determined to make your game not fun? I swear to God. It is just so utterly insipid of a design. Like, there's no reason to design your bullshit this way. And why would you even know? Why would you even know or care, you stupid fucking AI? Hate you. It's so much fun to play against the AI that just automatically knows where you are and is alerted for no reason and decides to just fucking ruin all fun that the game has because the developers are just assholes, apparently. And again, 90% of them not on the minimap because this game was made by morons. Fucking swear. It's just aggravating. Just all it is is bothersome bullshit. I would like to activate my abilities and do things. Like, seriously, that's the only way that you can play this game now. Because there's way too many goddamn assholes to deal with. You can't even use the bird powers nicely. Because then they just shoot you with guns and know automatically where you are. Because that's fun design. Seriously, why... Like... I stealth killed all those guys. And then the game just decides, no. <laughs> this is so stupid and I hate it. There's no fun to be had here. Because they just limit the ability's actual worth. And it seems like the game is determined to not even allow you to actually stealth kill anybody. Because, boom, enemies are just like, I automatically know you exist and send friends to kill you. Because that is totally fun. Genuinely, this is so fucking stupid. This is bad design. And every single developer who contributed to this bad design needs to be exiled to anybody anywhere else. Can I use my fucking ability? I'm pressing the goddamn button, you stupid fucking game. I swear. Pressing the button, and the game's like, no, you don't get to do that. Why? Game. Why are you just unbearably bad? And the question is, like, where do all of these guys just come from? There are not that many guard guys just hanging around. Yet the game just summons them from the ether. Because you're not allowed to have fun in this game. You try and fight them normally, they just fucking don't have the icons for you to fight them normally. You try to use the abilities the game gave you? Yeah. They just circumvent it entirely. Even when they give you cool shit, they just ruin it. And then dudes just respawn, apparently. Again, because that's fun. Again, they're not on the goddamn minimap for no reason. This game is so poorly goddamn made. You try and fight them head-on. There's a billion of them. You try to use your abilities to get an advantage. It's still just utterly painful. 
and again, purely punishing the player for daring to try and go do the one other good thing in this game. What is wrong with you, you dipshit developers? And then the next one should be up this direction, it seems. And sorry if I got super angry, but that just like, again, bordering on just unacceptable levels of design. Failure there. Because they had to have made changes to the AI to facilitate all that. Which is just unacceptable and ruins the fucking fun. Like, this should be the silly old romp. Like, save the civilian. Fuck off, I don't care. I am already going to suffer trying to do the things that I want to. I'm not going to put myself out there when this game doesn't even try to meet you halfway for fun. They killed the civilian! Don't care. Their slaves are leaving! Don't care. At all. You have ruined my care for anything you might throw at me now. Probably on the other side of the wall. Again, there's just way too many soldiers in this goddamn game. For no reason. No reason there's a billion soldiers. Oh, wow, it's because it's a dictatorship under King Washington, so there's gonna be lots of guys just wandering around. Fuck off. It's a video game. There is no actual reason. Again, you have given me magical fly e powers. Stereotypical racist animal powers of the Native American. You cannot just say, oh, well, it's because realism. You have lost any and all reasons to be able to do that. I'm just going to give my health back. This is just annoying. Aside from the beginning memory, they put all the memories in stupid fucking locations. Basically purely to punish the player for even going for them. Why? It's just so goddamn irritating. I also hate that the enemies combo super quickly. Fuck off and die. Now, where's that goddamn memory? It's around here somewhere. Probably put in a stupid place. Is it on this side of the wall? That side of the wall? Here it is. Oh, did Achilles just fucking die in this timeline too? Well, it's all his stuff, just on a table. Die. Well, fine. Why would you do that when I can't even use a anybody as a shield? Badly designed game. Oh. Another memory fragment. I wonder if that means that there was actually a memory fragment I missed in the last one. Well, I'm not going back. Honestly, it should have just given it to me the moment that I activated the final one. Well, maybe I could go back, because it is just basically... But then I wouldn't have my fly -E powers, which would make that so much easier. And it's in the snow, which is annoying. Help the starving civilian. I don't care. There's no reason to care. I get nothing for doing it. And everything else is annoying in this goddamn DLC. 
There is no reason for me to even care to try. And honestly, if anything, all this is doing is telling me to not even care about the memory fragments because they're just a bitch to even try and get. It's like, why even put it on the boat out here? Why even have the boat be all the way out here? Is it like, oh no, we gave the player the fly -y ability. We have to make it annoying to get the final thing. This is a conscience decision, dude. And I hate it. Will not even let me fly until I'm on solid ground. More annoying design decisions. At least there's no guards on this ship. Honestly surprised that there isn't. That feels like something this game would do. Purely to punish the player for caring. How dare you actually go and do things that we put in the game. Connor. Thank God I found you. Oh, so it's actually important to this Men DLC walking. story. I'm attacked by a new enemy. I fear I will succumb. What has come over you? God damn it, man, I need your help. Perhaps you should sit and tell me the problem. There's no time. I'm going insane. My God, I, I don't know what's happened. I've become... It's the dreams. They're driving me mad. I never thought you were a man that would be disturbed by dreams. You don't know. You can't understand. They beguile me with fantastical visions. Of sovereignty. In my dream, I met Mount Vernon during the war. In fact, in the dream, there is no war. I stayed with Martha, tending to my fields, peaceful hmm. and content. It sounds like paradise. No, they don't stop there. The peace of the vision pushes me to... The dreams become unspeakable. You are in them, Connor. I believe the visions come from this. Where did you get that? Hmm. And there's no fast travel point to make this all fun. Hmm. I wonder if because I didn't activate the... Presumably there was one, like, red and white icon memory fragment back in the episode one. So I wonder if I didn't... If that's like fragment one because I didn't do them. Or if they are contained to the episodes themselves. But yeah. If that's all it is, I'm not even going to bother going back to episode one. I will try and get the memory fragments for episode three. But if it is a massive bitch, I am not going to bother. Because Jesus fucking Christ. They just ramped up just the annoyance of the enemy AI in this DLC for no reason. I stealth kill guys, and then the other guys are just like, oh, I am now aware. Why? There is no reason, except to ruin fun. Oh, uh, well, you know, it's about the difficulty. No, it isn't. It's about bullshit, and I hate it. Help this starving poor little bastard. No, I don't care. I get nothing for doing it. Nothing that's actually tangible. Nothing that I care about. What are they going to do? Give me rope darts that I'm already full on? Die. I didn't even mean to come here to kill you. You got in my way by existing. I'm just going to fly my goddamn way over to Samuel Adams. Save the captives. No. Help the starving civilian. No. Because this DLC is annoying me. 
with its stupidness. Because it has such cool ideas. And then it just fails in totality of making it actually fun to use because of the rest of the design. And I hate it. This DLC is just further cementing this to being the worst Assassin's Creed game. By sheer virtue of having cool things that it ruins. It's not enough that it had to ruin the basic Assassin's Creed stuff. It has to ruin the cool original stuff that they added in, too. Ah, the British. We'll be trapped in this alley if Franklin comes with reinforcements. Like last time. By the night, done. I told you're an extraordinary hunter. Able to track anything or anyone. I'd do my best. I could use such a man. I fought for years in the cause of freedom. I thought that Washington would lead us to a new age. But he turned. I had to start again. Sadly, our second rebellion is faltering. Sir, we're out of gunpowder. What fun. We must leave Boston. We'll be crushed altogether. But I wish to free some comrades to bring with us. The loyal boys, all of them. But this time, we must avoid being surprised by that murderer, Franklin. For if I had a man to track Franklin down while we attempt to free our friends, it would disorient the Bluecoats and ensure our success. I have my own reasons to give him. It's Franklin. kind of amusing that they twisted it around. Now it's the Bluecoats. From time to time. Get important what are they called? Tuna backs? Here. Your appearance draws attention. But if you were able to mingle with the denizens, you should be able to discover Franklin's movements. It's just it's just baffling to me because all they had to do was simplify. That's all they had to do. Simplify things to make it less bullshit, and this game would be like ten times better. In so many different ways. Just so many different things are overcomplicated and made worse. I will kill him by flying through matter. Luckily, this time I don't have to stick around. I can just literally fly away and not care. Like, seriously, I think if they just lessened the amount of guards, made the AI just a bit dumber, this would be a billion times more fun. Jerk. Why do they just have five billion dudes? And every single time I press the fucking button to go do the thing, they're like, I'm gonna hit you now. Because this game is fucking stupid. It's just so annoying. Once again, dude's not on the goddamn mini-map, because the game is fucking dumb. Don't even understand what's going on sometimes anymore. Game is just disintegrating. And it just keeps spawning soldiers! Because no, we shouldn't let the player have fun. We need to ruin the fun. It's our job. Jesus fucking Christ. Cut down on the soldiers by half. Game is a billion times more fun. The combat is just terrible. Just let me enjoy my mystical powers that you gave me for this DLC and seem bent on ruining. 
why the fuck were the American soldiers shooting at the tavern that has American soldiers in it? Fuck this game. Hate this game. It's much better than cards, don't you think? I remember. Hey, I am trying to concentrate. Lol. Just being sociable. Yeesh. Hmm. Oh, it's like forcing me to select that. Okay, nope. It's immediately gonna be taken. And I just watched that guy. Jiminy, old Franklin's sending me out with another message. Oh, you're in for it now. And here's the worst of it. The message is for Putnam. Christ, you're a dead mackerel. Right. With either of those two, there's always some reason to end up flogged. Franklin will give you the lash, and then Putnam will try to outdo him. Something big is up. Only one ale for me. I have to get this to Putnam's lieutenant, or it's the whip. Or maybe worse. I didn't, I'm not going to be able to continue my game, am I? How dare you, game. I must carefully steal the message from his pocket. Citizens are urged to report any suspicious looking Indians roaming the streets. Rude. If you do so, will be punished severely. Hmm, I wonder if I can just do it from this. Game, game, game. The game is stealing from me. Because I was almost done. And then it's just like, bleh. General Putnam, there appears to be a misunderstanding regarding... That is not Connor that's talking, Kate. <laughs> ...authorities. A personal meeting is called for at the docks tomorrow, 10 at night. The usual sentinels will secure our safety. Yours, Ben Franklin. That that wasn't even his voice. Putnam doesn't get this message. I will miss my chance to trap Franklin. I must return it to the messenger's satchel. God, there's just nowhere for me to hide in this game. I loathe it. I did, game. I hate you. It, like, literally finished, and the game just said, nah. If this is delivered, it will lead me to Franklin. All I long for is a game of fun, but the game just decides to say fuck you. For a moment there, I was wondering what's going on. I wonder why that's shiny. Is it just because it's a box? Like, seriously. So many things about this DLC are fun, and they just ruin it with the guards. The guards are so terrible in this DLC. I swear the issues with the combat just get a billion times worse. I think I have run into the same amount of the game just eating my counter commands, or the diddly d of... Darn. Can I use my ability on this guy? Why can't why can't I I hate you game. 
You give me abilities and then you say I can't use them. Why? It's... Kill them both in the time limit. It's not my fault that you... Like, made it impossible to kill that one guy for some reason. I can literally go through just entire anythings. But apparently not ceilings. Unless they're considered as floor ceilings. Who are you? General Putnam is unable to meet with you. What? Well, this is absurd. Washington will hear of this. King Washington. His Majesty has removed himself to New York City to deal with the rebellion festering there. Removed himself? Why wasn't I informed? General Putnam asked me to deliver this proclamation from the King. You are to be killed by this man with a beard. This attests that Israel Putnam is here to for to... What is this? From now on, you take orders from Putnam. Me take orders from him? I suggest you show me some respect, sir, or I'll have these men shoot you down. Sentinels! Sentinels, but... You fool. <laughs> Guard yourself, Washington. Not Washington, Benjamin. I don't even know what the game wants me to do. Ah, neat. You can actually do that with... with hiding places. Hold still. That's not the proper way of getting rid of an arrow that's been shot into you. My God, what have we done? I became a monster. It was as if Washington had some... some great power. Come on. He... he clouded my mind. He... I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Come with me. <laughs> He's just there rambling, just like, oh God, what have I done? But, but I can help you now. <laughs> I have to push him, don't I? Where did I get a gun? It was as if my very or, or did they give me back my double gun? And nobody cares that I'm doing this. Not now that I've come to my senses. Why am I being so mean to this I guy? Monstrous things. Monstrous. I repent of those. I'm totally a different man. It went after the wrong fucking guy. Do your bidding. Astonishing. And the game's just not letting me do anything with this guy because it wants me to use the wolf pack, but the wolf pack went after the wrong fucking thing. This game is so fucking stupid. I hate it all. And I can't even I can't even play the game because this game is so fucking stupid. Summon the wolf pack and be unable to do anything else. Did the developers just have a day off and let their five-year-olds make this instead? Why would you restrict the player from playing the goddamn game? You have to understand. It was as if my very thoughts were controlled. I simply could not think it's just that, that is just such an unacceptable thing. You have a guard who's just a normal guard, and you have a designated no, press the button segment, but it can fuck up? Why? How are you this bad at your goddamn oh, I jobs? Monstrous things. Monstrous. I repent of those. I was literally a different man. Like, they didn't even need those three guards to show up at all. I let you live. My only wish is to atone for my wickedness. I will devote every moment to destroying the king. How? My dear man, I can be of enormous benefit. I served at Washington's side. I know his habits quite well. We Even after he went crazy? About this. But he's just like, why have those three guys in this de the designated push segment? Why even have the designated push segment? Like, why did... 
that entire section was stupid because it's just like, oh, I have to bring like B Benjamin Franklin to a secluded area to interrogate him. Nobody was caring that I was shoving a guy with a pistol to his back. The developers behind all this have to be deranged. Genuinely, this is so stupid. So many of the design decisions here. That last segment that just completely tanked the fun of that mission did not even need to exist. Mr. Adams, I have a prisoner. Franklin, you bastard. You bastard. Take him out. Have him shot. No, no, Sam! I've come to my senses. I want to help. The murder of my cousin John. The families of Dorchester. How about the old North Church? She was burned. Everyone inside. All horrible. Do as I said. No! I believe he will help us. The only way to end this is to get to Washington, and Franklin knows Washington well. We've just learned that he is in New York. But if we could join Jefferson's rebels in Manhattan, we could attack the king together. How might we it, it would be a hard sell Jefferson to tell them, to yeah, he's kind of been brainwashed. But then it's gone, and the captain at Boston Neck is secretly sympathetic to us. I am sure he will help us if he thinks he can get away with it. He must help us in such a way that he will not be caught. Perhaps he could triple the soldiers' rum ration. That way we could catch them drunk at Boston Neck. To break through. And once in New York, I can be a particular help. Don't want to hear it! <laughs> I've created a very special means of protection for Washington's palace. An attack there would be completely unexpected. You can get me past these protections? You will need a medal of a specific weight. There's a blacksmith in town, loyal to me. He'll help you. This is absurd. I will get Franklin's medal and we will catch up with you. This is a fool's errand, my friend. But I hope to see you in New York. Kind of feel sorry for Benjamin here. Like what, do I shove Benjamin into my pocket? And just fly away with him? I still don't understand why they just shoved so many guards into this DLC. When the... And I swear, the amount of guards they shoved into the DLC just utterly wrecked what little bit of fun the combat was. Oh, hey, Big Dave! You got to survive somehow. What can I do for you, mister? Benjamin Franklin has sent me. He asks something of you. Franklin? He tells me you have an unusual medal. He would like you to give that to me. The thing about that is... The medal, please. Yeah. <laughs> fella came along the other day, wanted his horse shot. Times being what they are, I was clean out of iron. Man's got a right to feed his children, don't he? Sorry, mister. You used it for horseshoes? Hi. Look good, too. Real good. He didn't say hi, he said I. Works at the Citadel, that one. Like, if he used the medal for horseshoes... Kind of disappointing that Big Dave is a bastard. What am I gonna do? Cut off the officer's horse's leg? Nothing would be less terrible than... Hmm, steal the horse undetected. Can I just... Fly up to the wall? I can! Finally, these places are stealthable. Ah, there's the horse. Granted, it is just a bonus objective. I shouldn't care too much. Like, why would you just leave dead bodies around? Especially in a fort that you presumably live in. 
Why the fuck are there a billion rabbits? What the fuck? Again, really, that's the thing that has me weirded out the most. What is with all the rabbits? What the fuck you mean? I got in there when I was not detected. This game is terrible. Yeah, why would you just have dead bodies hanging around for no reason? This seems poor if you actually live here. And again, what's with all the rabbits? I didn't actually expect them to get in the way of my murder. But I did. Oh, so these guys are all over the place being like, ah, I see you immediately, but the moment that they pass by a dead guy of their own, they don't care. Well, I guess, like, dead bodies would begin to blend together, I suppose. Did the mission... Oh, I was wondering what was happening. Chase the horse. For a moment there, I thought the game would just fail me because it's being a bastard. And also the UI broke again. Where it's constantly saying the same thing. Because again, this game was made by just terrible people. Also, the fucking AI just flash speeds toward where you are because this game is terrible. I hate it. Hate it so much. Again, how the hell is... What's its name? Shadow of Mordor, the better stealth game than this. I stoked the brick oven. I've got to get the heat extremely high in order to melt the metal. Did you get it? It's a horseshoe I hope now. You have a crowbar. What for? <laughs> yes, yes. Move along. Move along. Onwards to allowing me to see where I need to go next. Oh, it's just right in the door. Knock, knock, pieces in motion. I thought they said we were going to meet... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Extra funny, because we didn't even need to go in. Sam and Gunn and Dogon have gone with what's left of the men to Boston Neck. I hope they make it. We should join them as soon as we can. First, I must melt this down. Then I need the diagram of my design. I left it with an officer as a kind of insurance policy. It can almost always be found at the tavern. Get that? And I can file this shape to the correct position. Because you said you needed a metal of a particular weight. If it got, like, shaped into a horseshoe, doesn't that mean that, like, some of it might not be there anymore? Altering the weight? I don't know. This DLC is weird and wacky. I wonder if I can just... stealth past them. That seems like it's literally what they want you to do, and that's terrible. I prefer to drink without fellas like him around. Benjamin Franklin sent me to you. 
Are we Sorry. gonna play another mini <laughs> meaningless? You something? You've got to beat me. <laughs> I do not have a lot of time. That's my condition. That's a stupid condition. Very well. But let's make it quick. Where are you gonna move? Yeah, for some reason I have to, which is weird design. You'd think that I'd be able to move any checker piece anywhere. Did you hear about the little fracas went down tonight? What kind of fracas? It was quite a battle. So if I'm in a position to take, I have to take, which I don't think is a rule of checkers. Battle has been generous. More like a massacre. Bunch of fellas got suckered by Putnam. Pretty funny. What do you mean, got suckered? Shooting fish in a barrel, really. Dumb fish. What are you talking about? He's talking in weirdness. Putnam started a rumor that the captain of the guard was friendly to the rebels. Hilarious. What? Yep. Old Putnam tricked those redcoats into coming out in a group to Boston Neck. Then just mowed those stupid saps down. Do you know this for a fact? I was there. I saw Adams take his last breath. <laughs> I can rage quit. Yeah, sure. Let's rage quit. Your checker, your checker game is stupid. <laughs> That's it. Get him, boys. So basically, everyone's dead again. Which is impressive. I didn't expect everyone to. Not be dead. Oh, I broke that guy's neck. Huzzah. What, can I just not do anything against this guy? The fist fight, like, music is still awesome. Wish we got to hear it more. Oh, bastard. Come on, fight me. I'll take that. Goodbye. You brought out the knife, die. Good riddance to those louts. They never paid anyway. So hilariously, Sam Adams wanted me to, <laughs> wanted poor Benjamin to die. Well, fine, I shall do this to escape. That was fucking weird. That checker player telling the truth. Could be. Did Adams run into a trap? I must find out. Is that going to be the end of episode? Well, we still need a cliffhanger. A few moments later at Boston Neck. The UI is still there while we're in loading. Ah, oh, the side of the slaughter.
Who cares to remain undetected? Do you actually let me counter the guy, game? Gone, man. Eh. Still miss the old combat. Like, honestly, if they kept the old combat, this would be like, this DLC would be a million times better as well. It's just so bothersome. Also, that guy picked up his sword really fucking quickly. It's very annoying. And of course, a random guard just be like, I heard things. Because we can't let the player have fun in this fucking DLC. Fucking swear. You stealth kill a guy. A guy 50 states over hears you. That's from Sam's uniform. Dried blood. Basically, the best, the optimal way to play is just kill everyone as fast as possible using your stealth powers. You can reset detection by using the stealth powers. And I swear again, I kill dudes silently. 50 million more just like, I heard thing. Why can't it act like any other stealth game ever? No, we have to ruin the fun. Gun and Dogon's tomahawk. Are these... Are these his fingers? I have to be certain. Someone must have seen this. Stupid dog, you make me look bad. Hello there, what'd you see? Never mind, he's a dead body now. Terrible it was. Terrible. The rebels were overwhelmed, outnumbered four to one. I've never seen such slaughter. Piteous. Piteous slaughter. So everyone is dead. They literally brought Connor's friend back just to kill him. And you didn't notice those guys standing there. Fire! How'd he even get close enough to do that? And the rebellion is dead. Except for, I guess, Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> Benjamin! This should get Everyone's dead. Washington. I have 
heavens, what happened? Boston Neck was a trap set by Putnam. And Adams. Cannon Dogon. Dead all Everyone of them. Killed. Killed. We'll be next. We've got to get out of here. The land routes are cut off. We must escape by sea. Yes. By sea. I know of an excellent ship. But I'm too well known to move about freely. I will find you a disguise. Excellent idea. In the meanwhile, give me the diagram. I'll file this metal to precision. One f again, like, my brain is just hooked on the... Wait for that guy to become isolated. But again, there's five billion fucking guards. Why the fuck, game? I hate you. I hate the guard AI in this goddamn game. They're so annoying. We are the all-knowing AI. We're going to ruin your fun. Guys are just super annoying. And he's just fucking off to Realms Unknown just to turn back around and ruin my day. Because this AI is fucking frustrating to deal with. And that is basically its only reason for existing. Game, will you fuck off genuinely? There is no reason for the AI to be just this fucking stupid annoying. And now it feels like it's just spawning assholes for no reason. Those guys were not moving my direction when I was preparing, but then the moment. Jesus fucking Christ, hate this. The design is so fucking terrible. Like, if it weren't for the fact that just the rest of it, I might be able to... <clears throat> Slightly forgive it. Bit of a tight fit, you know. How do I look? Drunk. It's ridiculous. You don't have to be so honest. Wait, it's just like so much of the rest of the game is just so bothersome and annoying. Like, just they oh, don't want to bother with head. it. Look, here's one of us. Come along. We're headed to the tavern. You can buy us a mug of flip. Then toast us, huh? My tolerance for annoyance is just immensely low. Hold on there, Corporal. Yes, sir. But phew, that was close. It's funny, like, a lot of this might be able to slide if it weren't for the fact that just so much else is so bothersome. You there, soldiers, stop! What business have you in this district? What? G the game just kicked me out of my fo- Thanks for taking care This of game that. is fucking stupid. Luckily, the bo optional objectives are just completely worthless, but it's just so annoying! Why did it kick me out of the power? What is with this game and just not functioning?
Is it because I touched Benjamin Franklin? It's just so frustrating. All of it. What is that going to be, Charles Mr. Lee? Sir, who's that? Oh no, just a Sorry. random guy. Franklin, don't let the disguise. Oh no, it's you. the the boat guy. Oh goddamn! Your men stole my ship, you shite! Easy, Mr. Faulkner. Mr. Franklin is on the side of the rebels now. We need your help. And why should I? You will get your ship back. Ha! <laughs> The goddamn wharf's too heavily guarded. I can change that if you tell me what needs to be done. Well, let's see. I'll need you to untie the Achilles so it's all set to go. Meantime, I can scare you up a small crew. Then we'll rush the guards and set sail. I just, I don't understand why the power just cut out for no reason there. At the precise time that it would be handy for the game to fuck with me. It's just so bothersome. I also hate how convenient the AI just finds me and is ready to be like, ah, I'm going to uh, make you known to the world now. Like, that happens way too often at convenient times. Come on, game, let me use my goddamn power. game where you block onto the guy and kill him. Oh, you're too close, I guess. Because there's no fun in this game. And the controls are just fucking stupid. Again, I would like to... I would just like to grab the guy. But the game just doesn't let you do that anymore. A basic gameplay thing is like, oh no, that's only a counter thing. Why? Like, just so much of this game is unbearably bad. No, you didn't. Quit menacing that crewmate. You seem very sus, Mr. Union. I hate that it just randomly tosses me out of my diddly D for no reason. Constantly. Always. No consistency. Like, that would be one thing if it, co like, had a consistent trigger of making it so that I would fall out, but it just seems to randomly do it. And now escape the area. Why do that when I can just kill everyone? Like, I feel like I could do that just fine. Then I can just wait on the boat. Quit harassing people. You there. Don't mind me.
Technically, I've done all the game asked me, and now it demands more. Because the game is being stupid with its AI again. Again, it's just so insane to me that Shadow of Mordor is the better Assassin's Creed game. And that's just such a dumb thing. Again, it's just utterly shocking. Because Revelations was so good, how did this happen? How did they ruin Assassin's Creed in one game? And just like, it's not even just the fact that they did like combat and stealth badly, it's just so many other things stacked on top that compound the issues. It's just, it's almost impressive. I literally saw a guard spawn in. Which is also something that is impressive. Again, it's just annoying. Again, game kicked me out of my stealth mode for no reason. Because this game is badly made. And everyone who worked on it should feel bad. Really, it's impressive that they ever made a sequel. This is so bad. Let's escape to New York. The Aquila is ready. Do you have a crew? I've kidnapped the finest men. They're all bald. Fight? They're sailors. They do nothing but fight. Let's go. That, that was stupid. I was comboing him and he just decided, nah, I don't feel like being comboed no more. Why were there five billion more guards here than when we're actually storming it? It's like the middle of the day compared to when it was. might as well. I'm here. See, when stuff like that works, it's cool, but the system, like, never works when it's, like, would be relevant. I don't even know what the game did there. It seemed like I glitch hopped onto a second guy to stab him. <laughs> and it drifted away. Swim! I'll hold him off until you're ready to sail. Swim, lad, swim. Snipers! They're not really snipers, they just have muskets. Game, I hit the counter button, fuck off. Again, I hit the counter button, but it just decided not to work. Because this game is bad. Oh, fuck off with your constant blocking, you cunt of a game. I hate these enemies. They're not fun. Oh, hey, look. Game just not functioning. Oh, I fucking hate you. You are annoying. Will you... Fuck off, please, game. 
why do you have enemies that just don't die unless you fucking sing a specific song at a specific frequency with these guys? Stop the shooters, which I would, but I doubt the game will let me. Oh, fuck off, you cunt of a game. This is genuinely just terrible design. Once again, luckily the bonus objectives are meaningless, but that just makes it all the more annoying with how they're done. Oh, hey. They just <laughs> killed him for me. We all know he's just gonna die anyway. One move, just one move, and he's dead. How did you even get here with him Call that back fast? Your men and give up. Go! Shut it! Why don't we charge him and kill him now? <laughs> he killed him. Yeah, because you have a bad game. Maybe if I equip my gun. There we go. <laughs> the game just it's like, oh, stab him. Nah, shoot him. Even though the game has, like, conditioned me to not use anything but the stealth power. His entire time. And the fly power. I've done such horrible deeds. Indeed you have. And you reveled in them. That's no excuse. Every man I feel like the music is hitching all over the place. The apple just brought it out. They are firing way too many bullets for how many they are there are. So off to the final episode, which will probably be next time since we've been going for four the hours. Only chance was to leap from the docks. It kept turning the wheel. Ganadokon, I do not care. Land ho! How is it land ho? Boston is like right behind us. Look at that. I, mean, I just like this DLC is so annoying. Because the ideas are cool. The fact that it's R. Connor, who just like, I guess, is seeing visions the same way that Washington saw visions. And it's him living through it vividly. And I guess in a way this could maybe be like their psych like their psyches mingling as they kind of fight over the apple to a degree. And it's probably going to be Connor having to sack well I guess well he has nothing left anyway 
He never met Achilles in this timeline. Achilles is probably dead. I guess the uh, the most I can think is maybe Connor, the apple will be like, ah, but you can live in this illusion forever. Your friend is still alive. But, like, the idea is cool. Washington becoming corrupted by the apple. But the execution is just so goddamn bad. It really should just have been linear mission after linear mission. Like, sure, the animal powers is cool, but the game just it doesn't function with them. It constantly brings you out of stealth for no reason. And it seems like the end, like, and it just amped up the enemies for no reason in this DLC. There's a billion more soldiers than you're used to. A lot more elite soldiers than you're used to. And it's just oh so annoying. And like some of the bonus objectives, I'm like 90% sure are just impossible. And again, the UI issue cropped up a ton more than it did in the past. Especially with just popping up things in the middle of the screen almost so that you can't just look away from the corner to ignore it like with the other UI things. It's just so bothersome. All they had to do is keep the enemies the exact same as they were in the main game and it would not be as nearly as bad. It seems like every issue I've had with the enemies have just been exacerbated. You try to do a thing, ah, psych, they hit you first, and then they just keep on hitting you. So that you don't get to have any fun. You try and kill a guy, psych. His friends heard you a mile away. Like, stealth kills should make, like, no sound in a stealth game, especially one like this. But it just seems like, oh, you stealthily killed a guy. All of his friends have come to say hi as well. And, it, and again, the issue of enemies just not appearing on the minimap for no reason. Just so many stupid issues that ruin the fun. Like, I don't even think I'll bother with the fractured memory thing in episode 3. On, if, like, it's just so bothersome. It's so annoying. Granted, I guess I could just suicide run at him. At the start of the episode, just go do them. Even if their enemy is activated, they'll kill me. I'll respawn. It'll still be there. Done. Because screw actively, actually interacting with the game in any earnest way. Because the game is just that bad. But hey, we've gotten probably a new, like record. Originally, Memory Sequence 13 of Assassin's Creed 2 was the worst Assassin's Creed experience. Nah, this is it now. Because it's basically the same thing. Tons of guards, annoying mechanics, and just taking the base game and making it worse. Which is impressive. Because Assassin's... It is impressive that they've decided to go, hey, what if we take the base game of Assassin's Creed 3, which is already the worst Assassin's Creed, and make it worse? The combat has the stupid, like, counter glitch where it doesn't show you the counter notification icon so much more than it did in the main game. And it just happens again and again and again and again and again. Honestly, I think they could have made it so that the wolf power took no health and it would probably still be balanced with how bullshit some of this is. No idea what the third animal power is going to be, if there is even a third animal power. Because you have the stealth power, then you have the getting around power. I guess there might be a combat power, maybe? But it's just like, all they had to do was not touch anything else and just tell a cool story. And I probably would have been satisfied with this DLC, and they've just ruined it. Just utterly. It is just so unbelievably, unfathomably stupid. Because again, 
if it was just basic and it wasn't annoying gameplay, I would probably accept the story a lot more. Granted, they probably don't have much time to tell the story in the three episodes. But at the same time, a lot of the missions just seem very simple. Go here, do that. And not much story actually happening. And it's just hilarious that they're like, Oh, you should take the, the tea. And like those two other guys, I assume they drank the tea. They still died. They didn't have superpowers like I did. It's just all quite bothersome is all this is. And again, that one glitch where they had an extra guard patrolling so it distracted one of my wolves for the designated summon wolves to go eat those three guys segment. So, <laughs> because I was stuck in the, like, point gun and push mode. They even ruined the point gun and push mode! which was such grand fun in the actual game, and they went and ruined it in the DLC. All they had to do was keep things simple and execute it well, and they just kept ruining it. It's like, we should add things. There was probably that one guy who's like, no, we need to add more things. They should have thrown that guy out a window into a pool of freezing water, kept him there, but alive. He lives, he lives in the freezing pool now, never allowed to die. That is his fate now. Get to coding in the freezing pool. It's just so annoying. Because it's like, again, such potential. It began so cool. And then they just went, and now we're going to take all the bad things of the main game and make them a billion times worse. And it's just like, why? Why would you do that? The combat is already clunky to a degree because the counter is annoying to pull off and the elites are annoying. And because this is still Assassin's Creed on some level, I usually default to, aha, I hit the counter, so I shall now kill you. And then the game is like, oh, but this is an elite, so we're actually going to damage you for hitting the counter button. Which is just insipid to me still. Hate that. Yeah. Just eternally annoying. Well, we're going to come back next time for the final part in which we will probably speed through episode three. Just get the lucid charm memory things. Not caring about living or dying. Just go activate, die or run away. Watch the final one, maybe, unless there was the one in infamy. But I don't even care to go back and check because, bleh, this game is annoying me too much. But yes... Thank you very much for watching. Next time we will come back and finish off the tyranny of King Washington and see if the ending pulls it through or not. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. Edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings. I'm trying to put content there. I hope Brain allows me to do that sometime more. If you want streaming, there's the YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, where all the streams happen and the stream VODs are then uploaded to later. And then if you prefer Twitch, I also stream to Twitch, twitch.tv slash neonicywings. If you want other things from me, like art, similar to my little guy in the corner, you can follow me on various different art sites, and all those links can be found in my link tree, a link suppository, which is linktr.ee slash neonicywings, and the direct link can be found in descriptions, bios, and link places of all the various sites. Also in my link tree are the Twitch and YouTube channels, as well as r sites where I post my writing. And if you're feeling extra nice, you can throw me a few dollary dues through my Patreon, also found through my link tree. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I hope to see you here next time in which we finish off the tyranny of King Washington so we can move on to hopefully better games. But yes, thank you very much, and goodbye. Thank you.